Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a, a 3D bottle in uh, Adobe Illustrator, and I'm also going to show you how to put a label on that bottle. Um, as you can see, I've already selected an image here that I would like to use for my label. Um, it's a label from uh, Blaze Folio Design Blog, and I thought it was very befitting for uh, to use as a label just for this tutorial. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, please follow along if you'd like. Um, Okay, uh, whenever I'm working with 3D objects, I usually like to put a guide in the uh, in the middle of the page to kind of help me to, uh, to draw things and to keep things linear. So I'll press Control R on the keyboard to toggle on and off my uh, my rulers. I want them on, and I'll go ahead and just go over to my left ruler and click and drag a guide to the middle of my page. Okay. Um, uh, then I'll go ahead and press uh, either P on the on the keyboard or uh, just go over and select my pen tool from my uh, tool palette and I'm just going to draw a bottle shape and I'm just going to do it real quick here and it's probably not going to look perfect but I'm going to try to make it look okay and then uh, you can just go ahead and just sort of copy the, uh, the image that I make here for a bottle image, and uh, certainly you can make these a little better if you'd like, which I'm sure you would. But I'll, I'll kind of straighten this out a little bit as well. But for the most part, uh, this is the sort of image that we're shooting for. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and go in and clean it up real quick, and then I'll zoom out so that you can kind of copy it. And see what it should look like. Okie dokie. And um, you can certainly manipulate this a little bit more too after we do our uh, 3D revolve step, which is next. So, um, first, go ahead and try to um, do an image that looks a, a lot like this. And uh, I'll go ahead and delete my guide. And uh, I'll uh, select my uh, my image here. And I'm going to go up to Effect, down to 3D, and uh, Revolve. And that should uh, go ahead and that'll uh, make our 3D bottle. And we'll just press OK. And I'll show you. That makes uh, your bottle. And uh, like I said, we can go in and uh, change this to make it look more like the bottle that we want now. And we'll just take our Direct Select tool from our tool palette over here. And we'll just select the points that we want to uh, kind of manipulate. And we can just arrow those in or out, depending on what you need, of course. I'm just going to arrow them in until this looks uh, a bit more like I want it to. Okay. That's starting to look a little bit better. And just kind of mess around with these points until it gets to a point that uh, that you feel comfortable, that you like the way that it looks. And that's all I'm doing here.
Okay. Not the prettiest bottle that I've ever made, but you kind of get the idea. Um... See if I can make it just a little bit longer. Okay, like I said, not the prettiest bottle I've ever made, but uh, you get the idea. And that's a basic bottle shape. And uh, you can do the same thing, and you can take a little bit longer and make it look the way that you want it. Uh, now that I'm uh, done making the bottle, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this label on the bottle. And uh, since I'm using image, I'm going to have to go ahead and live trace it. Uh, you go to object down to live trace and up to make if you want. But uh, in the later versions of uh, Illustrator, they have this nice high fidelity um, photo live trace, and I'm going to use that. So I'm just going to go up to the top here to the drop down and uh, do this high fidelity photo uh, live trace. And then I'll click uh, expand. And, uh, and now I've vectorized that, uh, that photo. And uh, what I'll do is I'll go to window down to um, symbols and I'm just going to drag that uh, vector that I just made in my symbols and make a new symbol. And I'm just going to call this label and you don't need to change any of the other settings. Those settings are for if you export to flash. Okay so now I did that and I'll uh, go ahead and delete that uh, shape off the page and I'll select my bottle. And we're going to go ahead and place that label on the bottle and uh, the reason that we made that symbol is because this is how we're going to place it on there. So we have our bottle selected. We go up to Window, down to Appearance, and uh, you'll see in your Appearance palette there's a thing that says 3D Revolve, and you'll go ahead and double click on that. Um, after you do that, you'll click on Map Art, and you'll see that uh, your your artwork uh, goes into these uh, geometric lines, and uh, some of the lines are in red, and the lines that are in red are the uh, the areas that you have selected and there's these arrows up at the top that allow you to switch the areas in red that you have selected. So I'm just going to arrow down until we get to the arrow, or I'm going to arrow over until we get the, the part in red that we want our label to be on. Um, it looks like it should be here, but keep in mind that as we're arrowing through, um, it's going to arrow through both the inside and the outside of the bottle. I know uh, for a fact from preparing this uh, slide that, or this uh, uh, tutorial that this particular area in red is the inside of the bottle, so I'm going to continue to arrow over until um, it gets back to that sort of same look. And this one will be the outside of the bottle. And the easiest way to check this is by applying your symbol up at the top here and seeing if you can see it. If you can't see it, it's on the inside of the bottle. If you can see it, uh, it's on the outside. Uh, and you'll only be able to see it if you click this preview button. So I'll click this preview button and show you what I mean. It just takes a few seconds to render, and there you go. There's a uh, there's my label right on the outside of the bottle there. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and drag this over so that I get my little logo in the front. And I actually liked it better the other way, so I'm gonna just go ahead and make it like that. You guys know that uh, know what the logo looks like, so. Okay, um, then after that renders, we just go ahead and, uh, oh, at the bottom here, go ahead and click Shade Artwork, and that's going to uh, give it the same shading as the bottle. Very important to make it look realistic. Don't want to forget that. Okay, and then we'll press OK, and we'll press OK, and uh, that's pretty much it. You have your bottle, you have your label on your bottle, and, uh, and you're done. So I hope you learned a lot. Um, please subscribe to my blog. Uh, Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, subscribe to me on YouTube, and if you liked this tutorial, please uh, go ahead and click the like button down below if you're watching this on YouTube. Thank you very much.